What's up guys, this is DMoney613, bringing you guys another video. In today's video, we'll be talking about the top 5 program builds in NBA 2K19. The gameplay in the background is some part gameplay for me. I'm not a part player, but this was a pretty decent gameplay for me. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you can, leave a comment down below with your top 5 builds. Let's go ahead and get into it. Starting with number 5, we have the Glass Cleaners. The Glass Cleaners, in my opinion, is one of the most impactful builds in NBA 2K19 Prime. They help you out a lot more than just getting rebounds. Starting with the number one thing that glass cleaners do, they are bailout gods. Have you ever just thrown up a shot and like, this thing ain't going in, but your glass cleaner like, bro, I got you. I got you. I'm going to get you another shot. As soon as I shoot a bad shot, I already know the ball coming back to me because, you know, my glass cleaner's down there. He's got a little baby on him, like a stretch four. Like, stretch big on the glass? Come on now. Oh, y'all thought I was going to forget about them big body Miyagis? Nah, bro. You know Glass Cleaner set the best picks in the game. That Hall of Fame brick wall ain't gonna play with you, I swear. I run into him all the time in Pro-Am, and you know, when it's a Glass Cleaner in a stretch, it's like, done deal, game over, say goodbye, get out of here. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna say on Glass Cleaners is that they are a low-key rim protector. They hold it down in the paint, don't get scored on too often, and that's very important in a Pro-Am game because if you can stop the shooters from scoring and the big man from scoring in the paint, the game is as good as one. So, let's go ahead and get into number four. It has to be the most annoying build in the game, and that is a pure lockdown defender. If you haven't played a team with more than one pure lockdown defender, you will know how annoying they are. You are scared to pass the ball, and if you, like, it just throws your whole game off. Like, they could be out of position, but it's like, dang, that's a pure lock. Let me watch this pass. I might not want to throw it right there. Or, this pure lock is all the way over there, but they might contest me if I shoot this open shot. It's a real iffy game. Some games you are like, man, forget it. It's just a lockdown. I don't care about that. But then if you get them spamming hog lockdowns and they just spamming, slowing down the game, getting steals, getting rips, like they, they're just stopping the game. Some way or another, they're slowing down your offense. It's either they're going to rip you or they're going to get a foul. And fouls, if you're a fast break running team, it hurts. Like my team, if we get slowed down, it hurts us. For like a little bit and then you know we have to tee up and let them know what's really up but number four has to be the light down defenders because they're just the most annoying build in the game and also they have a very big impact on the game so we're gonna go ahead and roll into number three we got the pure sharpshooters what pure sharpshooters are so low yes pure sharpshooters because they're easy to guard if your team knows how to defend picks like if your team can defend picks you're good like, if you know, I'm going to stay on this side, you stay on that side. Simple. But if you let a pure sharp get hot and you see that takeover badge on them, it's a done deal. It's over with. Just leave. Just just exit the game. Especially if they know what they're doing because they got hot on your team. It, it gets ugly real fast. And, like, that's no joke. A sharpshooter can go from, like, 0 to 2 to, like, 6 for 8 in, like, 2 minutes. And they'd be like, dang, how about I get 18 points like that? Bro, I got hot. We're going to go ahead and take it to number two. The second most impactful build in the game is the play sharp or the sharpshooting playmaker is what it's actually called. And that's at the point guard position. It's that build can literally take a game over. Like um, when I know I'm not scoring well in my playmaker on my team, he's a sharpshooting playmaker. He can take over the game, get us out of a hole, get us out of the jam. I've seen a lot of sharpshooting playmakers take over games. Like, we've played against plenty of them, and the only thing they do is sit and dance behind a pick. If you play the pick too hard, they're going to go past you because they're a playmaker. So, they got that ball control. But, they can be locked down, but pretty sure, pretty much only with either a smart center or a smart center and a smart point guard and a good defender, pretty much anybody. Like, if you can defend the screen and roll, the pick and roll, the... Screen and fade. If you can defend all that, a play sharp or a sharp shooting playmaker won't. They won't be effective. But they can take over a game in an instance. And then if they're a 94 overall, and they get that takeover with both, both archetypes, mm -mm, they gonna break your ankles and then shoot from half court. Like no lie. But that leads us into the number one most impactful build and the best build in my opinion in NBA 2K19, and that is a stretch four. Yep, you knew it was coming. Stretch 4. The Stretch 4, in my opinion, is the best build in the game. What other build can you shoot over people and get green contested? Like, 
If uh, Stretch Big gets their takeover, it's over for it. Done. I have played with plenty of Stretch Bigs, and they weren't the best shooters. But they, when they take over, they don't care. It's a, in your face. Dropping this. It's a bucket. We out of here. Like, I played with them in Rec. I've played with them in Pro-Am. It's either they're making, there's either really good Stretch Bigs or they're really bad Stretch Bigs. So if you run across a Stretch Big who knows how to cheese behind the pick, as soon as you touch the pick, bro, pulling up. You can't contest them. Your hand don't mean nothing unless you're a stretch big, but it's, you're going to be slow. So it's like you either get burned by the pick or you let the roller score. It's really stretch bigs are just the most, they're the second most annoying build in the game just because of how many contested shots they can make. Like they can shoot over you and you think you're contesting them, but you're really not. But that's been my top five builds. It has been DMoney613. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. As you can see, the video is over with. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.